God's power is best displayed against the backdrop of human weakness. You want to see how great God's power is? Put it against the backdrop of human weakness and insufficiency. Now, to me, this is one of the most encouraging things that we can think about as believers. Because here's what it means. That means God's power can pour in and through anybody. God's power does not depend upon your qualifications. God's power does not depend upon your ability or your education or how articulate you are or whatever. God's power is best displayed against the backdrop of human weakness. So here's what I have to say to you. If you are facing in your life right now something that appears to be an overwhelming obstacle. Your challenge is far bigger than you are. In other words, you feel like a young shepherd boy facing a giant warrior and all you've got is a slingshot. If that's you, let me just tell you something. You are precisely where God loves to demonstrate his power. If you're standing at an obstacle in your life and you have no idea how you're going to get through, over, or around this obstacle. In other words, if you feel like Moses with his toes in the edge of the Red Sea, looking out thinking, how am I ever going to make this work? If that's you, you are precisely where God loves to demonstrate his power. If you feel like Peter felt, then you are in a place in life where God can still pour his power in and through your life. Weakness, it's in our weakness that God's power is most seen. Love the way Chuck Swindoll kind of boiled this thought down. Here's what he said. You've probably heard this. We are all faced with a series of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised, as impossible situations. What impossible situation are you facing right now that God could turn into a great opportunity to show how big, how great, and how good he is? You see, church, as strange as it might seem, when we are weak, when we properly understand and respond to our enemy, when we see ourselves for who we really are, and when we understand how God's power works, when we are weak like that, that's when we are strong.